What's going on, YouTubers? So in part two of this uh, vlog of me getting the new pedal, um, I wanted to discuss a few things on people if they were thinking about uh, switching pedals or uh, how I decided why I want to switch to a new pedal and uh, some ideas of where I was coming from uh, before I got this. So let's switch to my pedal and I'll show you some things that I liked about my pedal, some things I want to improve, and uh, talk about the Firehawks and how that all is going to change with this new uh, setup. So let's get to it. Right out of the gate, I wanted to stay digital. Analog uh, still does not appease me. The expensive nature of pedals, um, the various amount of power supply and cords, um, just like this one has, uh, still is a little bit too chaotic. I want to keep it simple, um, easy to plug in and out as, uh, as I could. I definitely wanted something that had a metal die cast frame um, to handle the touring, moving, and the performance. So I, that was necessary. Um, wanted something with individual foot switches uh, for the effects, the amp, and selecting uh, patches, as well as a foot pedal for uh, something that could change to volume and wall. Um, I definitely wanted the ability to be flexible on how I was sending my signal. Uh, and what I'm putting in the board as well, which this one has XLR and quarter in and out, so that was pretty cool. Two features on this pedal I saw that I no longer needed was the uh, mic in for an XLR cable and the built-in recorder. Uh, since I have built up a recording studio uh, for my bedroom, I uh, started using these two less and less, so I did not need them in the next pedal. The other thing I... Uh, grew up learning on, on digitals was the, the different modes. This one has three, uh, it has stop box, it has preset, and it has recorder. So for example, if I wanted to bypass something in the pedal, I had to press these two simultaneously. If I wanted a tuner, same thing, these two simultaneously. If I wanted to change the modes, stop box, recorder, preset, I had to tap these two at the same time. Um, I found it tricky. It, uh, it is doable, but if your foot leans to one side than the other um, and you're in the middle of trying to select something in the middle of the show, that could cause a kink in your game. Um, so, the other thing I found out was because I only have four pedals to mess with, um, if I was in effects mode, I would have to rely on these two pedals to drive me through the patches um, and allow me to navigate the effects. If I was in preset mode, I would have to already have set up my effects and then I could navigate off of the pedals to switch my presets instead of these two. This could be cool if uh, you know exactly what's coming up, but if something changes as live performances do, I had to quickly change modes and turn it off. And uh, while there is a bit of latency on all digital pedals, uh, that latency could throw you off uh, by one or two beats and then you're no longer synced up with the drummer. So that was something I wanted to maybe improve on. Um, I did like the fact at any point I could switch effects in and out. Um, I did find out the more I played, the more I wanted to do different uh, guitar ideas. I lacked room unless I had more pedals. Um, and this one, I really found out last year I wanted another delay to kind of pull off that YouTube ambient delay feel. And that's only possible if I have another delay. So this one, I only have one. I can't add another one. I can't change any of these to delay. That was very limiting. In the Firehawks, I have three, foot, uh, three options for modules. I can have distortion, chorus, and a delay. Now... If I have my amp in the cab set just right and I have enough drive, then I don't really need a distortion pedal. I can save that option, switch it to a second delay, and now I have a grungy distortion amp, two delays, and one chorus. And that's what I'm exactly looking for, is the option to switch some of these pedals out for something else. Um, that's something I definitely wanted to have. If I wanted to play my uh, iPhone, uh, let, let's say a song, into my pedal, uh, I had to have recorded it through my 
or download it through my smart card and then play it off of my foot pedal. This became a little tricky and I had to do it off of the recording mode, go through the file patch and uh, kind of dial in and make sure the level is right. Took a little navigation, uh, it became the norm so it wasn't a big deal. But uh, the Firehawk does that seamlessly. It's all Bluetooth. You sync up Bluetooth with it. You play it. You can just click down. You will turn off or down, up, whatever you want to increase the signal on your phone. And you're already using your pedal to play. So big, big bonus on that one. Moving forward instead of backwards, I think. The current pedal does not op uh, offer the option of effects loop just doesn't. In the Firehawks, um, I can take one of my uh, foot switches, create a, uh, a signal to make it um, turn on and off my effects loop, and uh, I can add other pedals into the board. So let's say I have um, a talk box and another delay or chorus from another company. Um, I can have all those on on the side, put them in the effects loop, and let's say I can make this one, if this is a Firehawks, make one of the pedals a uh, an assigned to that effects loop, turn it on and off when I want. So right out the gate, I can switch out pedals to different type of modules. I can add effects loops in, and I can incorporate other pedals without problem. That was another big one. Um, the ability to have two rows instead of this one. Uh, as you can see, the GNX only has one row. I have three different modes. On the Firehawks, I have my my different patches. I have my effects buttons. And on the bottom row that this one doesn't have will be my additional presets. So that was a pretty big eye-opener. And uh, like I said in the past, Use other people's equipment, test out what you're thinking you want to try, and get a feel for it. After using the pedals, uh, other Line 6 pedals especially, I found that was super helpful. And um, definitely wanted to move forward with that. Another thing I liked was, like I said, the foot pedal. However, this model does not offer me the ability to add in another pedal. Um, I could, by doing a chain... Um, but like I said, I, I'm trying to keep it simple. The Firehawk not only has one foot pedal, but it also has another input for a second Line 6 put, uh, foot pedal controller. So I can have one specifically for a wall and one for a volume and go back and forth without a problem. So that was a huge, big, uh, big bonus on that one. The... Software on this one, I had to buy through another sound engineer and upgrade all of the amps and cabs. And uh, some of the effects uh, kind of aged, definitely can tell that. But with a little bit of tweaking, I got them to sound pretty damn good. With the new Firehawks, everything's updated. There's a lot of HD models, um, especially with how we can tweak it on, on the phone. <clears throat> uh, one thing I did want to get away from was being tied down. So as you can see right here, this is a USB. If I wanted to adjust any of the cabs, uh, I would have to select the green, red channel, uh, and kind of go through the the graph, if you will, and get the coordinates for what I'm adjusting, kind of dial in um, the numbers. And um, this one it was a little crazy. As you can see, there's cabinet tuning, uh, there's hertz, there's various ranges of hertz. I mean, you really had to know this the software to know what a, you know, 1825 hertz will do to the cab whereas the Firehawk software runs from 0 to 100. Kind of like an amp, you're on 0 or you're on 12. Um that pretty much puts a lot of things in perspective as a dial. So that was a big um ease in kind of switching software the ability to use my iPhone, update different cabs, whereas I had to plug this into a computer and upload and, and kind of download different amp and patches 
was a bit uh, painstaking. If I wanted to do that on stage with this pedal, I couldn't. I had to know exactly what I wanted to switch, or if I had a custom patch, I had to wait till I got home and downloaded it from the CD. The Firehawks, seamless. Everything works with cloud. I could change it in an instant. All right, viewers, that's all I have for you in this video today. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to part three so I can get the unit here and show you guys what it looks like and what it sounds like. Um, hopefully you took something away from this video, whether you have digital, rack, uh, analog, whatever, and you're looking to probably move to another unit, um, maybe incorporate a new pedal. But always, always, always look at long term. How can you uh, take what you have and use it in a couple years and incorporate other items? I would be very naive if I ever thought I would never add to my uh, multi-effects pedal because that's just insane. There's too many cool pedals out um, that have their own particular coolness to them that you want to use throughout your rig. Um, I think that TC Electronics has it down pat with uh, their tone prints and the tuners, bar none. Uh, regardless if I think the Line 6 tuner on the pedal board is great, the Poly tuner has it out. Um, just like if you had a talk box um, or any other cool pedal you want to add to it. So um, that is a huge point. Don't kind of be tunnel uh, vision when it comes to using other pedals, but take time, research, use other people's pedals, get advice, definitely look at forms and other videos um, to get someone's perspective and maybe you have thought about. But thank you for viewing. If you liked the video, hit subscribe or the like button. Take care. Talk to you guys later.